Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys my thoughts and opinions about camping and fishing. Now, everyone has their own thoughts and opinions about camping and fishing, or one of the two. But today, you're going to hear my thoughts and opinions about camping and fishing. And let me tell you, when I was a kid, I was never a fan of either camping or fishing. Just didn't really stick out to me that much. So first, I'm going to be telling you guys about camping. Now, my family and I used to camp out in the woods, of course, because where, where else are you going to camp? Inside your house? Because I don't know anyone else who camps inside their house. Or out in their backyard. So, of course, we had to camp out in the woods. It's pretty obvious. So, sometimes when my family and I used to go camping when I was little, I used to see some of my fa other family members out there, family relatives, like my aunt, my uncle, a bunch of other people I probably don't know. So we just make do with what we used to have. So um, the boys would go out and make their tents and I would unpack all the snacks and other stuff and just, you know, try to have fun for the most part. I mean, I did talk with my family and try to have a good time, now, there are some perks I do like about camping. Now, what I used to do when I was a kid, I used to grab a bunch of pine needles on the ground and grab a huge handful of pine needles and just put them in a campfire and watch them light up a blaze. And I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. You know, I love campfires. And I love bonfires too. Can anything that involves campfires in a fireplace at home or outside camping, I love it. But other parts of camping, not so much. Now, I remember I used I had to go to the bathroom so bad. And I didn't want to use the bathroom, you know, out in the woods like, you know, a lot of people do. Especially back in the old days, a lot of people had to use the bathroom out in the woods. So there used to be... Where we, where my family and I used to camp, there used to be those like those wooden, those wooden stall toilets, and let me tell you, it's one of the most disgusting places to use the bathroom, in my opinion. I can tell you, one of the, those those toilets are worse than a public school bathroom and a gas station bathroom. Worse than any of those bathrooms. It was dirty, flies were swarming around it, but I had to go. It was either that or, you know, squatting down to use the bathroom. So I had to make do with whatever was available for me. So that's what I did. And I only went in that stall one time and I'll never, ever in my life go to any of those stall bathrooms. Again, even as an adult, if I see any of those things, I'll never go out there again. Now, another perk that I do like about camping, I love s'mores. If I had to, um, some people prefer their marshmallows in a s'mores, either golden brown or burnt. Now I like my marshmallows and s'mores, I like them burnt. Because usually when I was a kid, they end up burnt anyway. I try to make them golden brown as I can, but they end up burnt anyway. And it still tastes good no matter how I um, roast my marshmallows. Burnt marshmallows, in my opinion, is a really good way to go. Tastes really good. It really does. And I used to, I used to sleep out in tents as well. My fam, um, my dad would grab some air mattresses, blow up some air mattresses, and we put sleeping bags on them, over the air mattresses, pillows, blankets, all of that stuff. And let me tell you, it was somewhat manageable and tense to you know try to get comfortable, but it it was okay. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. I mean. It's better than sleeping on the hard ground with dirt and grass, even though I never slept on dirt and grass before, and I never 
want to experience that because you know dirt in your hair bunch of other stuff in your hair it's just a mess so I did sleep in a cot before as well I also I slept in a cot before and I honestly prefer sleeping in a cot over a tent and um, sometimes when I, I wake up in the middle of the night and I hear coyotes howling in the distance it does sound really cool but we were a good safe distance away from the coyotes and I remember my, um, we used to tell each other scary stories out in the campfire. And I remember my dad told me this one scary story about like man eating wolves that'll come at you in the middle of the night and claw up your tent and eat you for a late night snack. And that used to terrify me. He even did the little thing at the end of a story where he jumps up and scares you like, ah, <laughs> that used to terrify me. It wasn't that traumatizing. After like, you know, one night I was over it, but I still remember that little story. Didn't remember much of it, but parts of the story. Anyway, now you're going to hear my opinion about fishing. If I had to choose, a, you know, an option between what I like better, camping or fishing? I prefer camping over fishing. Fishing to me is way more boring, but my dad, he's been doing fishing for a long time for like an awesome sport. He's been catching fish and even frying them too. He's been on a roll recently on catching fish. Props to you, dad, for, you know, frying up the fish. My older brother, he can catch fish too. Not as good as my dad, though, but hey, my older brother's pretty good, too. Props to him as well, because, you know, my older brother watches these videos, too. So shout out to you, older brother. Love you. <laughs> anyway, I used to hate going on my dad's boat, because my dad used to have, my dad had a boat. He bought the boat years ago, and I get on the boat. We all had life jackets, and the things I used to hate Will dislike about the boat is that one it was too fast and I never liked fast moving vehicles in general that's why I don't go on roller coasters never been on a roller coaster and I probably never will so if anyone makes me go on a roller coaster please don't do it don't do it save you a lot of time and money for the most part because just hate fast moving vehicles makes me freak out and the boat made me freak out a lot worse. Next thing is that it didn't have any seat belts. I always had like a little cautious thing when I was a kid about most vehicles not having seat belts, like four wheelers, boats, buses, anything like that. So what my dad used to do, he had a good way of improvising with a seat belt. What he used to do is grab a rope that he found, tie it in the inside of the boat, and for me to grab the front side of the rope and tie and not tie it, just wrap it around my arm and hold it, hold on to it tight. That was his way of, you know, making me have a seatbelt. And I would always sit in the front seat of the boat. I tried sitting in the back seat, but it was to me, sitting in the back seat was pretty bumpy, so I preferred the front seat. Everyone had a fun time in fishing, but I didn't. It was like hell for me at that time when I was a kid. And some of you were probably going to ask, why wouldn't you just stay at home? I couldn't because I was a kid and I had to go with my family to um, fish it. One, to again, be productive and to just, you know, just so I don't get, be alone at home. So if I had a preference between camp camping or fishing, camping is tolerable. And nowadays, I like to sleep in cabins. They're cozy, they're nice, and again, campfires are fun. So anyway, if you guys wanted to know my opinions about camping and fishing, this is the video you might want to watch. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!